Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers. And today, normally I'd be doing like best creations, but we're stepping up the bar a little bit. We're going from best creations to just outright perfect creations. No room for error whatsoever. No flaws, at least according to the titles of these creations. So this creation here is responsible for this episode because uh, I was just looking at the workshop for best creations and this is by Tack. It is called It Flies Perfect. So then I thought, what if I search for other stuff that claim to be perfect? So we got a perfect boat. We have a perfect helicopter. We have a perfect glider, perfect turret, flyer. Like we got all kinds of perfect stuff basically. And we're just gonna have fun and see how perfect these things actually are. They're all completely untested. I'm just putting 100% trust in the names of these creations. So this is perfect flyer. Uh, it's got two con or three controls. So let's see how we do here. All we gotta do, okay, hold on. I just lost an entire wing. No, that, don't worry, that's not the fault of the flyer. That, there we go, now we're lifting up here. My criteria for perfection may differ from the creator of this, but uh, obviously it flies really nice and stable. So if you want a nice stable level flyer, this, this does the job pretty well. However, if you want an agile flyer, this is as sharp as I can turn. Okay, that actually did better than I thought it was going to. Not gonna lie, I didn't think it was gonna make that turn very well. It is more agile than I was expecting, to be honest. <laughs> But every perfect flyer needs to be able to come in for a perfect landing. So there's no landing gear on this thing. So, oh boy, oh boy, that was really quick falling out of the sky there. As soon as I turn those propellers off. Okay, it doesn't seem to really glide. It more, uh, it just kind of floats. Hey, no damage. It was all right. Okay, so that is apparently uh, something that flies perfect, according to creator. So let's go straight to the water and let's do perfect boat. This is a very, you know what? <laughs> this boat is definitely wedge gang approved. I, oh my God, there's guns on this. Oh wait, the guns don't shoot. Hold on a second. This is perfect boat by, oh, this is also by attack. Gun may not function, it's just for looks. Oh, okay, interesting. Using a gun for looks. All right, let's go into uh, the water and see how well the perfect boat does. I had no idea that this was by the same person. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going. I'm a little bit confused. There's thrusters on this thing and they're underwater and only three, oh wait, left control. Oh, okay. The reverse is different. Oh. So there's two of them, two of the propellers are for reverse specifically and then three of the propellers are for forward specifically. I don't know if you knew it, but you can actually program forward and reverse into the same set of propellers. This is this is a perfect boat. I don't know if you guys knew what a perfect boat looks like. It's uh, it's a wedge. So I can't I can't argue with that. I can't argue with perfection here. Not only is it a perfect boat, but like it's really professional looking. I don't know what it is about this, but it just it just it just has this this it just emanates perfection somehow. All right, moving on from the water, we are taking a look at a perfect helicopter apparently by Dragon Gamer. All right. Well, visually this thing looks awesome. Look at the nose of that helicopter. This looks really, really nice. Let's hope it uh, functions just as well too. Okay, got that going. Oh, 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 okay. I see how this works. There are gimbal jets in the actual propeller blades. So it's not using, it's not really using the wings or the blades to fly. Um, it's using gimbal just to fly and the blades actually do help keep it from falling out of the sky It kind of gives it like a slightly negative um, Buoyancy in the air, but let's let's fly this thing around and see how perfect it really is Oh interesting the tail has propellers on it and that's how you do yaw you activate those propellers on the tail like that That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. We got Q and E as well. Oh, is that roll? Oh, it's very very subtle roll Oh interesting it's subtle enough that you can't even tip over. It looks like it has some auto, uh, auto adjusting, uh, pitch. So if I press forward, those thrusters would have a tendency to pitch me forward. But as you can see, these, uh, these servos inside the cockpit here, they're actually preventing me from tilting forward. Oh, and I just noticed that there's a propeller on top of the tail that must be doing some help with the counter rotation as well, or the counter pitch. What does left shift do? Oh, left shift is down. Oh, it has a down control specifically as well. 
This is actually a really controllable helicopter. This is really nice. Let's try to land somewhere cool. All right, I'm trying to land on top of these orange signs. If I can, like, I, for some reason, I just have this thing where um, if I can fly a creation, I have to be able to land it successfully to kind of wrap up the summary of performance on these things. All right, how do I go up again? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, ready? Oh, oh, I meant that was that was user error. That was just user error. Don't worry about it. Oh, no way. Can I fit this way? This is... That was really, really easy, actually. That was super easy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And there we go. All right. A successful landing. Successful precision landing at that. Is this perfection? You be the judge. All right, up next we have Perfect Glider by Mr. Girk. This is a glider that if you just fall off a cliff, it'll glide all the way down. It's really simplistic. I think I've, I've built something similar to this before. I'm a little bit skeptical though. Is it really gonna glide forward versus just kind of like falling like a feather? Uh, I'm curious to find out. The real test is once again, it's gonna be the landing. Are we gonna be able to land smoothly without breaking ourselves? So I'm gonna try to glide from the helipad somewhere down onto the ground and uh, just hope for the best, I guess. Okay, here we go. Here, here we go. Oh no, all right, we need to get some forward momentum first. Um, oh no, oh no. Oh, Mr. Girk, Mr. Girk, this is uh, having some issues here. I'm not really getting much forward. Oh, no, there's too much lift in the front. Mr. Girk, what have you done? This is not a glider. This is a, a faller. Uh. I mean, we survived, but was that gliding or was that just falling with style? But who am I to argue with this title here? I mean, clearly the title says otherwise, so it must have just been my fault. Okay, now we have Perfect Turret by Smixmog. Apparently it has crosshairs and everything. So let's go into first person here. Or maybe top of seat camera. Oh! Oh, this is... This is aggressive. This is really aggressive. We can't use a turret like that without sh shooting at stuff. So I have the perfect off-roader here. Oh, it has different speed settings, variable speeds. This is by Gresham. Well, before we actually use the uh, perfect off-roader going off-road, let's destroy it first. Okay, I'm I'm a fan of the turret. This is actually really nice. Is it the perfect turret? Well, yes, that it literally that's what it's called. All right, now we gotta try the perfect off-roader. Ooh, first person looks. Whoa, what is going on with this steering? All right, let me get out of that view. Hold on a second. Oh, why is this steering? This is such a weird steering. Why? How do I go forwards? Number one. Oh, all right, so this is number one speed. It actually regulates your speed. I'm just holding W right now. All right, number two. Okay, that's definitely faster. Okay, I don't have anywhere to go from here. <laughs> okay, hold please. This is an off-roader, but it doesn't necessarily mean off-road into the water. There we go, like 130 it keeps you at. All right, then high speed. Oh, high speed's pretty high speed. We're still going. We are still, we're still gaining speed. What is the high speed? 200? Oh, no. Okay, handled that pretty well. Something broke, though. <laughs> All right. Don't judge anything just yet because we are still on road. So this is not what this is meant for. I just wanted to see how fast we could go at the top speed. All right, L is probably lights. Yeah, L is always lights. Left shift. Well, what? What is left shift supposed to be? Oh, toggle handbrake? What is the handbrake supposed to do? I have to see this handbrake. Ready, left shift. Oh, the handbrake broke. Now I know why they call it a handbrake because it, it literally, it bre it breaks. Like, the <laughs> is it just supposed to push the back wheels off the ground? It breaks every single time. All right, hand handbrake might not be perfect, but uh, let's actually try some off-roading now. Here, let's see if we can get up this right here. That was super easy. Like, that was unbelievably easy. It felt like there was almost no resistance at all there. Here we- oh, here we go. I see some off-roading. I see we got some rocks down here. All right, yeah, this is a good spot. Okay. Okay. 
The ground clearance isn't the greatest, but this thing is just, it just pulls through. Oh, except for, hold on, hold on, there we go. Look at this. Okay, I'm actually impressed. This is a really good off-roader. It just pulls through somehow. All right, now what are you gonna do, huh? Now we're, we're completely off-road. All right, well, uh, that's that. All right, up next we have Perfect Flyer by Toro. Great handling, two cannons and two bombs apparently. All right, ooh, this is interesting. Look at how this controls. There's our roll right there. We, oh, I dropped the bombs and those are the cannons. All right, hold on. I'm gonna blow myself up accidentally. Oh! All right, let's actually fly this thing though. Oh, that lifted off so smooth. Oh, this is so, this is so quiet. This is, this is such a peaceful ride. I mean, and then we got like cannons. And uh, let me try to drop the bombs on this aircraft carrier. Shouldn't be any, any legal issues with this. And bombs. Of course, they went through the surface of the aircraft carrier and exploded on the bottom level. Can we land it on the aircraft carrier here without any issues? Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see now this is gliding. This is gliding right here. Oh, 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 that was perfect. Wait, something broke? What broke? I disagree. No, I disagree with that. That was the most perfect landing. That was definitely the most perfect landing. All right, now we have Perfect Plane by K uh 2007 Oh my goodness, this plane has a cannon right in the front. Okay, well, let's see uh, what's so perfect about this thing. Does it fly nice? We got a perfect flyer, and uh, this is apparently Perfect Plane. All right, it kind of looks like a like a duck flying through the air with the orange nose there. There's an interesting effect. Oh, I see. Oh, he uses gimbal jets in the nose and the tail to help pitch. How interesting. Even though you have the pail do or the, the pail, the tail doing pitch as well. And of course, you can fire the cannon as you're going. That's weird. The cannon is definitely firing like upwards out of my. You see that? It's firing. It's so firing up. Huh. All right, let's come in for a lower level landing here to show off this thing. Oh my, we have so much speed. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, it fits the theme of this episode. That was great. Okay, up next we got the perfect car by P. James 09. All right, what makes a car perfect? Does it drive? All right, it drives so far. Um, okay, it, it's, all right, it's easy to spin out. I don't know if that's part of the perfection or not. Is it supposed to be a perfect drift car? What are the up and down arrows gonna do? What? Why? Why can we make it thinner? Does being, does being uh, shorter help? I mean, it still spins out really, really easy. I run into this problem with cars as well, where my back end, I do oversteer a lot. And I often, I, I try to fix it and it's very difficult to fix it sometimes. All right, we have a lot of thrust on this thing. And what is Q and E, what? What is that supposed to do? Can I get myself downforce just by pressing? Oh, wow. Well, that definitely, I got a lot of downforce now. I can hardly even like drive across the ground with all that downforce. Oh no. <laughs> that was a good crash. All right, let's put some thrust here and then aim up. I don't know if this is the intended use of this car. All right, let's aim down now. Oh, uh, we could probably wall climb with this thing if we're aiming down. I don't know if I would classify this as a car. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, we just got so much downforce now. All right, and then turn it into up force as we glide off of this. Ready? <laughs> Nailed it. I didn't. I didn't name these creations. I just found them, and I just. I'm just going with the theme of the episode. Okay. All right. Perfect quadcopter. Uh, by I don't know how I. Apparently, this quadcopter perfectly hovers in place. Hence the name. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see what that's all about. Left shift. Oh, it's. It's booting up. It is booting up here. Okay, so, all right, press up to go up, apparently. All right, we are up. Hey, I actually, I kind of thought it was gonna fall out of the sky, judging by that initial performance. Wow, this is slow. This is a very slow quadcopter, but it's working. Okay, let's go up a little bit more. 
It does seem to have a slightly negative, uh, negative buoyancy in the air. It's a very gentle giant in the air, this drone, but it is stable. And I think this thing is going to be super, super easy to land. And it even has the suspension to cushion our landing. So let's just drive through here. It feels like this, this gateway was made for this drone. The dimensions are very, they're very, they're very good. Uh, all right, let's try to go and land here. It's so easy to land a drone like this if it just keeps itself at a steady height. Look at that. That was a perfect landing. All right. Uh, I forgot to turn it off. My bad. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. All right. Up next, we got Perfect Ball by Tokyo Tsuki. And I, I don't know what. It's just apparently it's a perfect ball. I don't know what's so perfect about it. Let's try to push it around. It doesn't look perfect to you. I mean, as far as the uh, trail makers goes and building and grids like this, it actually... It looks pretty nice. Okay, let's spawn in the perfect car to uh, push around the perfect ball with, just to see how perfect this ball really is. Oops, I may have done some damage. Oh, now I took some feet. Now it is not the perfect ball anymore. <laughs> All right, I don't know. I just wanted to spawn that in real quick just to see what a round object in Trail Makers was like. Okay, this thing, I don't know. I do not know what this is. It's called Perfect Scatop. Core. And I googled this word and nothing, nothing showed up. So I don't know what a scatopticore is. Am I just Scatopticore. Yeah. This is by Thirst. Spawn in flat area. Hold X, spacebar, and W. Once up to speed, press control and hold spacebar. What is a scatopticore? What is going to happen here? This is what it looks like. What does it mean to be up to speed in a scatopticor? What are... Oh, no. What is this? What? What is this? Okay, hold on. I need to spawn over here. I think we need a straightaway for this one. I need to reread the instructions. Okay. X spacebar W. Get up to speed. Control spacebar. Okay. X spacebar W. Here we go. Why? Why? Why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? Am I up to speed yet? X, spacebar, and W. That's what I'm pressing. And then I need to do what? Con control and spacebar? Alright, I think I'm up to speed. Control and spacebar! I see! I see! Wait, why can't I just do this? Well, I could just do this. It's so much simpler than what you were saying! Just hold control. This is not, I had no idea what to expect. This is what a scatopticor is apparently. Yeah, I, there's, I think there's full control. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay. So this is somehow, this is like a car. It is a car like this and at any point, I could just go ahead and put these up and turn into a drone of sorts, but it doesn't really work that well when you're going forward or taking off from a standstill sometimes. Oh my, why is it so inconsistent? And there's V. I can extend some of these out. What? Three of these have pistons. And one of these does not. This is... This is not symmetrical. This is not symmetrical at all. That explains the weird takeoff. Well, in case you guys are wondering what a scatapticor or something was, this is it. No, this is a perfect one. It's a perfect scatapticor. Yeah, the perfect sca scatap- scatop- no, scatopticor, my bad. Not scatopticor, I was pronouncing it wrong. So thank you, Thirst, for that very unexpected experience. Well, there you have it. These weren't just the best creations I found on the workshop. These were the perfect creations on the workshop of all kinds, land, air, and sea. So which one of these creations was the most perfect in your opinion? Let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.